Kalanayan and my metric number is 192296. Thermodynamics is the branch of physics that deals with heat and other forms of energy. In particular, it describes how thermal energy is converted into other forms of energy and how it affects matter. So thermodynamics consists of three laws. The first law of thermodynamics, the second law of thermodynamics and the third law of thermodynamics. I will explain about heat engine under the second law of thermodynamics. First thing first, Lord Kelvin once said that it is impossible to construct a device operating in a cycle for the sole purpose of converting a heat energy without rejecting the part of the energy. So this simply means that energy can, can never be converted completely 100%. So this is the schematic diagram of heat engine. Heat engine is a device which exchanges heat between two temperature reservoirs. We assume TH is always greater than TL. So the heat flows will always from higher temperature to lower temperature. So the heat will flow from the source through the engine until the sink, which is the lower temperature. The engine will absorb some amount of energy in the form of heat and then convert it to into some amount of work and whatever you know is left which is uh, energy that is not converted is rejected into the sink okay so the schematic diagram tells that the energy heat energy will never be converted completely into mechanical work this simply means that energy will never be converted into 100% efficiency thank you uh, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning my name is Ahmad Yuzi Hakimi bin Muhammad Yusof and my metric number is 192356. Today I will uh, explain to you about four stroke. Four stroke is uh, have four step which is intake, compression, power and exhaust. The intake is the the first valve is open and the air and the piston is go downward. So the air mixture will will fill the the space. The second part is compression. Compression is the piston is going motion upward and the two buff is closed. So it's compressed. The third is power. Power when the piston is go downward and the spark plug is ignite and after that uh, the the buff the two buff is closed and it will make a power. Uh, the last part is exhaust which is the piston is compressed again and the buff the outer valve is open and then uh, the particle is go out. I think that's all for me and I will pass to Asma Izzy. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Sir Asma Izzy Menti Roslan and my metric number is 192355. So just now, Izzy had explained about four stroke engine and now I need to explain about two stroke engine. Okay, basically, two stroke engine employ both crankcase and cylinder to archive all the element of auto cycle only in two stroke of the piston. Okay, first the process is intake. The fuel mixture uh, come in to the cylinder using a poppet valve and then crankcase compression. Fuel mixture compressed in the in the, the cylinder. cylinder uh, process is transfer. The piston exposes the intake port allowing the compressed fuel mixture in the crankcase to escape around the piston. And then the expel of exhaust gas out of the port. Unfortunately, some of the fresh fuel mixture usually expel too, and then uh, compressing, compressing process. This full, this full, the fuel mixture compressed in here, and then the last process is power. At the top of the stroke, the spark plug ignite the fuel mixture. The burning fuel expand, driving the piston moving downward to complete the cycle. And then basically. Um, two stroke engine is powerful more than four stroke engine but unfortunately two stroke engine uh, inefficient because of uh, the amount of the unspelled fuel is escaped through the exhaust port so I think that's all for me thank you my name is Muhammad Dani Shazani bin Muhammad Shamsubari and my message number is 192340 from this topic heat engine my friend and I can conclude that an engine or a motor is a device that is created to convert one form of energy into another form of mechanical work. Heat engine burn the fuel by internal combustion throughout the combustion chamber to produce heat that can use to do work. Heat engine related to the second law of thermodynamics as we can see there is a limitation of heat that can be converted into a certain work. 
I think that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Wan Abdul Majid Bin Wan Rode, 192562. Okay, I will explain to you uh, how to improve the efficiency of the engine in cars. Okay. The more efficiency an engine brief, the more efficiency it will produce power. Okay. Firstly, we need to use a double overhead cam design or DOHC that allow optimum placement of the wave. It is used to uh, enhance power output, uh, fuel economy and emission control. Okay. Secondly, uh, we also can use four waves per cylinder is instead of two or three. This arrangement can improve the intake and exhaust performance of engine over other wave configuration. Okay, other than that, uh, the car also should use uh, the variable wave timing with intelligence that is also called VVTI. Okay, VVTI, uh, with VVTI, the intake wave timing is constantly adjust, enabling the engine to perform well over a wide range of speed uh, for an even even greater range of wave control, uh, we can use dual independent VVTI which can control both the intake and exhaust can shift independently of each other, just like this car for dua beza. Okay, so this is the example of uh, uh, other application that use heat engine. Okay, this is a two-stroke motorcycle and this is four-stroke motorcycle. Uh, both of these uh, motorcycle use uh, clutch. Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you.